Hey Curly Tees, today I'm going to show you how to use a little shortcut to help make it possible to use hydroxyethyl cellulose or HEC immediately in your formulating process. Now, I must have completely and totally overlooked this tip about quickly hydrating HEC before. Normally, it can take 30 minutes to an hour or so to hydrate, so it's depending on the version of HEC you have. But by just adjusting the pH, you can easily continue with the rest of the formulating process instead of waiting around for it to thicken in the water. Let's make a 1% hex solution to be added into a future formula. Once you start formulating directly with hex, instead of making a 1 or 2% solution like I did in this recipe, you won't have to add a preservative or a polysorbate 20 at the beginning stages. Just hex, distilled water, and your pH adjusters will do. So uh, why is polysorbate 20 in this formula to begin with? Okay, I'm using Uxal PE9010 as a preservative. I want this hex solution to remain as clear as possible, just in case I wanna add it to a hair gel for additional slip, you know? This version is 250 HHR, which means it can be added directly into water without needing to be added to a solvent like glycerin first. You'll find heck in everything from conditioners and serums to sheet masks and styling gels. Because of its non-ionic nature, hydroxyethyl cellulose is compatible with so many more ingredients than some of our other workhorse ingredients we know, like xanthan gum. 1% HEC gives a nice serum-like consistency. No fish eyes, no clumping, no gloppy mess. It, it also doesn't need to be mixed with a high shear mixer. The process itself is simple as long as you have the right version of heck. Remember, the R grade can go directly into water. Polysorbate 20 will help keep the mixture as transparent as possible. You can also try using PEG-40 hydrogenated castor oil. Whenever I use polysorbate 80 as a solvent, the mixes are always white and opaque. So here I chose polysorbate 20, which seems to consistently create clear mixes, unless you haven't used enough. I'm not sure about the max pH at which polysorbate 20 works, but I've seen it in ingredients lists of many relaxers, so it should work for my purposes here. I've seen pro formulators add Uxal PE9010 directly into the water phase of emulsions before, but I'm not sure how it would work out for clear formulas, so I'm gonna use the polysorbate 20. Five percent of polysorbate 20 will easily handle 0.75 percent of Uxal PE9010 without causing cloudiness or turning the mix milky. Mm -hmm. 
Uxal PE9010 is a broad spectrum preservative that technically works in the pH range of 3 to 12. So if you're using something else, do not add it until after you hydrate the heck because you need to make sure that increasing the pH won't effectively kill off your preservative system. Mix the polysorbate 20 and the Uxo PE9010 well. You have to make sure it's transparent like this, like see-through. You got to make sure that it's not cloudy or milky. Add the polysorbate 20 plus the preservative to the heck plus the water and mix. Don't worry about how you're mixing at this time. Now you're gonna see bubbles, okay? That's normal. One way to get the bubbles out of your way is to spritz lightly with isopropyl alcohol. This step is optional, but it lets you see the mix better. Just a little is fine. drops. Just two drops for this 50 gram sample is enough. Amino methyl propanol or AMP increases the pH of whatever you put it in. Always wear gloves when using AMP. Mix for two to three minutes straight. The time may be lesser if you're using a stick blender though. Okay, you should notice the heck becoming more viscous and uh, taking on its gelled form at this point. Now 1% heck solution is akin to a thin serum or a syrupy consistency. It won't look, and this is important, it will not look like a carbomer based gel. It has a definite flow to its gelled state. All right, let's check the pH to see where it is. You can skip this part though, because the pH is gonna be high. <laughs> of course is extremely good at raising the pH with very very small amounts. A 50% citric acid solution works wonders at getting the pH down quickly with a small small amount. Here I added just three drops for this 50 gram sample.
again mix for two to three minutes notice how the heck does not in ot it does not return to a watery consistency and remains that light syrupy type of consistency Again, let's test the pH. It should be right where it needs to be between 4.5 and 6. This looks like a 5 in real life. The heck is ready to use. You can go for it with your formula. Or in my case, you could add this mix into another formula. Best of all, I did not have to wait 45 minutes or an hour and a half before being able to continue. I also don't have to make this mix the night before so that it will be ready to use. Remember, you'll have to raise the pH and let it thicken, then lower the pH. Some ingredients in your formula won't like that, so don't try to throw everything into the water phase at this point because you're going to be disappointed. But once you start formulating directly with heck instead of making this 1 or 2% solution first, you won't have to add the preservative or the polysorbate at the beginning stages like I told you earlier. Once you actually start using heck directly in a formula, you won't have to do all this. You'll just have to do the quick process to get it thick, then bring it back down, and then you're ready to go. Now this is day one heck 1% solution. The bubbles will go away on their own if you let it sit overnight. As you can see, it's a crystal clear syrup-like consistency. Remember, heck does not form a jelly-like thick carbomer style hair gel, right? It will look more like a serum and have a super amount of slick. I know y'all are looking at the amount. Now, I've already used some of this 1% heck serum in an azelaic serum formula for testing, just so you know it won't evaporate overnight or something. That's it guys, <laughs> I hope you found this information useful. I personally haven't seen a video directly talking about how to use heck without having to wait 30 minutes or an hour for it to hydrate. So forgive me if this is already common knowledge that I simply didn't know. As always, thank you for watching the video. Now you should already be at curlytea.com, okay? But if you're not, what are you doing, ma'am? <laughs> Get all of the DIY recipes and formulas, including instructions, my notes, and other information, like this heck tip. Follow on social media and become a patron at Patreon if that's more convenient for you. I'll talk to you guys soon.